What's up everybody? I'm going to describe a little bit how I installed the towing package basically on my 2016 Toyota Sienna. It cost me about $400 uh, to install and it took about three and a half hours. I still want to mount some things a little bit better so that's probably a half hour to do uh, but about three and a half hours of my time, $400 and the pros quoted me between $900 and $1100 depending on how I wanted it set up. Um, so. I'm not an electrician, um, just kind of a DIY guy, I know a couple things about electronics a little bit. So um, if you've got some experience with doing something, you should be able to do it. Um, the hardest part of the whole project, honestly, was running the 12 volt wire from the back to the front, getting under there and just feeding it through. Um, it's just kind of time consuming. Um, but there's a lot of great videos, or there is a great video made by U-Haul. Um, that kind of describes how to do it and they're pretty detailed on that so I recommend doing that but just kind of the whole process so the reason why it costs four hundred dollars so here's a little price list for you um, six dollars for the fuse uh, about fifteen um, to twenty dollars for the wires the extra wires that I got um, sorry I said fuse this is actually a breaker because it can be reset fuses cannot be reset they just have to be replaced I bought this um, proportional echo um, Bluetooth. I'll talk more about that later. That's the brake controller. And then, you know, about $160 for the actual hitch itself. And another, you know, 40, 50 bucks for the ball and the, and the mount there. And then the wiring harness the, for the lights. Um, this wiring harness cost about $100 from a, um, I got it from a trailer specific store. I tried to get it from U-Haul, but they got, gave me the wrong one. Um, and then about $20 for this is a seven way to four way adapter, okay? So for, um, and this cost about $20. So I think about covered the parts there. Um, so it came out to about $400, give or take, for the parts. Uh, let me talk about the brake controller. So. Not all trailers have brakes, right? Um, I'm towing a pop-up trailer that has brakes. So I want to be able to have this option, not just the lights. Um, it really helps with slowing down. There's two types. There's time controlled and proportional. Time is the more the, the longer you apply it, the, long, the more brakes it is. Proportional is basically proportional to your inertia or how much you're moving or decelerating. Proportional, now I'm not a trailer pro, but proportional I've read. Um, is better long term for your brakes. It just applies better and smoother. Um, now this um, is about a $300 part. Um, I got it used on offer up for about $100. The idea is that you just plug this into your vehicle, plug the other side into your tow hitch, and then set some of the settings on your Bluetooth on your phone, and you're good to go. Um, you can um, also pull up the app and apply the brakes manually um, if you want, um, or you can just set it and just not worry about it, and then it applies it. Um, and it's pretty good there. So now the reason why I went with this one and not like some of these other typical ones that you might see. Um, so these can range from like forty dollars to two hundred. Um, for depends on if you want time based or proportional based. But the main reason why I went with the Bluetooth one and not one of these ones is just the install process. Because to install one of these other ones, I would have had to bolt it to the dash here, um, kind of mount it here somewhere. Um, and then also splice the brake wire, which it's a very thin wire. I just didn't want to mess with that. Um, it's my wife's brakes on the van. Just don't want to mess with that. Um, if you're an electrician, go for it. A lot of vehicles have a plug and play type connector, especially a lot of trucks. Like they'll just have, you know, you disconnect it. It's kind of like the lights in the back. You disconnect that one, put the splicer in there, and then you're good to go. If it had that, I probably would have gone with something like that, but mine didn't this teeny tiny wire and I got this one for a hundred dollars so my installation time versus the price um, it just made sense to get this one for me so um, going back to here um, installing the um, sev the four-way connector wasn't too bad um, basically the lights um, what you do is you you have this wire you do have a 12 volt uh, wire, I think it's a uh, 10 or 12 um, gauge that you run to the front to the battery 
Um, and then there's a splicer that comes in, you know, to the lights. You take off this light, you take off some of the plastics, um, and then take off that light, and just kind of come in through there. And that was a fairly simple process. Um, and then uh, mounting the hitch itself, I did it by myself. It was the most awkward thing ever. Um, it was super difficult physically to get that up in there. So if you do have a second person just to hold it while you're mounting it, do that. Um, and then to torque the, I think the bolt's down to like 79 foot pounds, I believe it is. Check your specs on your vehicle, on your, on that though. Um, so, and, you know, overall in theory is a pretty simple process. Uh, the hardest thing, like I said, is feeding the wires underneath the car. This is for my trailer brakes because you need a 12 volt connection for that and then a 12 volt connection for the, for the brakes and uh, for the brake lights. The brake lights have a, a fuse and the breaker has a, uh, what's well, a breaker. So anyways, I think that's most of that that I'm uh, describing. And I think that's it. Um, kind of a quick caveat. So my trailer that I have, the brakes worked when I got it. And then they don't after I worked on the whole thing for a while. I messed with some wires and all kinds of structural things. It's a pop-up trailer, so there's a lot of in, in different internal stuff. Anyways, the lights on that didn't work, so I bought from Harbor Freight like a $30 um, magnetic one. So I have the magnetic ones connected, and also I have the brakes connected. So it's kind of a funny setup because I've got I plug in the brakes to here, and then I plug in the lights to the other one, and it all works. So. Um, yeah, that's kind of that. Now, wherever you go, well, I won't say wherever you go with whatever your vehicle. For my vehicle, uh, the two places that I called, as well as the instructional video, um, there's not a way to mount directly the seven-way connector just to the vehicle, like, without doing the four-way. Because the two pros that I called, they mount the four-way first, and then they add on the seven-way, which is what I did, you know, they, so the seven way you plug that into your existing four way and then it has these two options depending on what kind of trailer you're pulling and you can tell my beautiful splicing job it was a rushed trip so uh yeah my splicing job for that for running that back to the car which goes down underneath and there's a little hole here um, underneath the the carpet area there it goes back to the front so anyways good luck with your towing adventures um, I hope this video is helpful for you, and take care. And sorry, two things I forgot to mention. Um, well, one main thing. If you're going to be towing with a car, you want to look at the how much you can tow. And there's certain um, accessories or adaptations to your vehicle you could and should make. So one is a transmission cooler. Uh, those aren't too expensive, but you install those in front of the radiator. Um, one, so mine, I actually got, I had to replace the radiator on the car a few years ago, and I actually replaced it with a bigger um, radiator um, that's meant for towing. Um, so something to consider there. Um, also, suspension. It depends, you know, I haven't done anything in modifications like that to my vehicle. Um, but that's that consideration.